and here we go. Uh, this looks like a great hand to me. Turn one eighth row, turn two sliver, turn three sliver, turn four, collect a company potentially. Um, I think we just cavern here. I mean, this kind of, uh, the jig is up as soon as we name Sliver <laughs> with Cavern of Souls. But that's okay. It was never going to be a particularly realistic jig for very long. Alright, so... Four mana... What do we want? Alright. I mean, we basically have access to most things we need just because we have Cavern of Souls. So I think we can just get a swamp here. And play our predatory sliver. And then just overrun him with slivers. Alright, Maelstrom Pulse is not the end of the world. So just play this and this. So next turn, all right, tireless tracker. Just gonna get some clues. So fatal push is what we're afraid of here. Because if we fatal if we get fatal pushed, we might just want a diffusion sliver here for safety. I mean the risky play is sedge sliver attack which would be good if he doesn't have fatal push I'd say if he just does have fatal push he can kill our sedge sliver block with tarmogoyf and we get blown out I think I'm actually gonna just sedge sliver here because it's mana efficient and then pass the turn Might be a little too cautious. I think we're still in a good spot, though. If we untap with Sedge Sliver, things are going to get wild. That was another clue. Okay, that was not a great turn for our opponent. Path is pretty good though. Alright, do we want a company? I think so. Okay. Let's just 
fly over this. It's pretty great company. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is a great. Destroyed so many cards. But they all do so little against my board of slivers. I mean, realistically, he could... Okay, there's there's not any realistic scenario that gets him out of this, but killing Gale... Uh, Gale Rider Sliver. So this is um, only 11. Only 11. I don't think there's any way for us to die here. That was just um, a desperation attack. The old fog bluff. The old fog bluff. Alright, so, I mean, we don't really need much in this matchup. We're already pretty set up here, I would say. Perhaps Sliver Hive Lord would be, will be in order. Frenetic Sliver seems alright. Um... Fusion Sliver seems okay. Eh, Frenetic Sliver doesn't even seem that great. I don't really like pa Descendant's Path because of um, Abrupt Decay and Maelstrom Pulse, it matches up pretty poorly against them. I do like the Dismembers and how good is Haste? Maybe not that great. Probably just Diffusion Sliver is better. This seems alright. I mean, I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I, I like the dismembers for Dark Confidence and Tarmogoyfs. Sliver Hive Lord seems sweet. And keep the Diffusion Slivers for removal. Alright. I think this is a keep. I mean, Two Aether Vows, two Mana Wefts. We're pretty insured against Thoughtseize. Like, what's he supposed to do? Thoughtseize, Abrupt Decay, Aether Vial, and just hope we never draw land? I mean, please don't do that. See, this play is great. Okay. I mean, the, we were reasonably chanced to draw a land. Reasonably chanced. Obviously, we did not get there. So what do we want to discard? Probably just sinew here. Since if we get mana weft out, 
we're getting um, a lot of mana weft just take out the the uh, ooze and hope our opponent doesn't really draw too much that's relevant before we can get something going here all right at least they don't have any pressure What's our opponent going to do? Thought sees us in abrupt decay? Both our aether vials? I'd like to see them try it. Alright, not the worst draw in the world. Also not the greatest. Our opponent is... is almost certainly floating removal here. I think I actually get rid of mana weft here. Alright, nice. Cards abrupt decay. So if they have fatal push, this is all right for us. Since uh, we'll at least buy some time here. question is, are we attacking? I honestly don't like attacking here. Since it's almost a... I'm, I'm quite confident that our opponent has a fatal push in hand. Alright, unfortunately that's a Tarmogoyf. Can't cast that. Can't cast this. No, 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 no. If I had a sacrifice Muta Vault, I assume our opponent would have fatal pushed. If if they had, if, if even do have a fatal push, uh, maybe they don't. No, it doesn't make sense that they would discard Verdant Catacombs. I think we see, though. Called it. Completely vindicated. dead here. Opponent makes a sack that. Yeah, also, we're just not winning anyways. We're just not winning. It's not working out. Um, changes. I mean, may, probably Sliver Hive Lord is just not worth it, considering our opponent has path. The Chronic Sliver seems alright though. This also makes our collected companies just a little bit better. <laughs> this is actually really fun playing with Slivers.
even that game where I had two Aether Vials and they both went bye bye immediately. Yeah, this looks this looks pretty good. I mean, no Aether Vial, no Kyoko, but other than that, I like it. Alright, so Gale Rider Sliver into Diffusion Sliver into Necrotic Sliver. Our opponent will probably have something to say about all this. Alright, we attack first because, I mean, if they do have Fatal Push, they might be saving it. But now they, now it's really awkward if they want to try and save it against the fusion sliver. All right. So that was all right for us, especially since we just have another Gale Rider sliver, and this is like the worst sliver to have multiples of. Okay, this play seems like Dismember, Gale Rider, potentially set up for next turn. I mean, land would be great for company, and if not, we always have Necrotic Sliver. What does that mean? Just path, I guess? Um, so we attack, I think we just Coco, because we could hit Blur Sliver. I mean, this potentially gives them a better uh, target. With uh, any sort of removal. Blessed Alliance. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Not the greatest card against Slivers. I think I just sacked my Gale Rider Sliver because now that I have Necrotic Sliver, I can just kill any Tarmogoyfs and Gem Hide. Alright, Surging Cloak, Low, Cloak, Low, <laughs> Coco. Alright, I like it when they start getting lots of text on them. So we can destroy a permanent, add one mana. Alright, that seems like a permanent that is worth destroying. Probably just uh, make it mutable. Take the take the hit here. So <sighs> pay three. I'm wondering how worried I should be about damnation. I could also destroy a land if I really wanted to. 
but I don't think that's the play at this point. So I think I'm just going to do this. It might actually be correct to necrotic his white source. I'm just wondering if we're playing a beatdown game or something else. My plan was to necrotic and then like use gem hide to maybe diffusion slivers, which is worse at this point, but now I probably just hit him for four. And yeah, I'll play into damnation since it seems like he does not have it, considering he's willing to path there. Alright. Lingering souls. Thankfully we have a pump. Okay. That should just be GG. <laughs> All right, so we can regenerate through a damnation for lethal. Alright, good stuff. Sliver's taking it down.